the old antenna coil on the Emerson that said better days. Hey guys, the jig I put together for winding the new antenna coil. I'm using some uh, Litz wire. It's a blend of uh, 46 and 44. I'll put a link to where I uh, got that some time back in the uh, video description. But you can see just a uh, scrap piece of wood clamped to the bench and a few uh, dowels with some holes drilled just to uh, support the uh, dimensions that I'm looking for. This is about uh, four by eight. And I think I've got about 31 turns of the uh, Litz wire on here at this point. And uh, let's look at the inductance real quick. That's uh, perfect. I was hoping to be north of uh, 235 micro Henry's. And uh, you can see I'm about 300. So I'm gonna unwind to get down to about 235. I think that's gonna be a good match for the uh, receiver. Let me go ahead and do the trimming to get the inductance where I need it. Okay guys, a quick update. Just multiple coats on the areas that I could reach here with the uh, natural pH adhesive made by uh, Lineco. So I've got this uh, top section done, both sides, inside and out, and just the bottom side, or inside, I should say, here on this lower section. Once this sets up in a few hours, I will uh, flip it over and uh, capture the other sides, and then we'll go from there. I'll remove the uh, dowels and hopefully the uh, coil will come out with it. And then we'll reattach it to the uh, receiver, get everything hooked up and give the uh, receiver a test. It's the next day, the glue's dried and you can see I've got a uh, backer board there to mount the antenna coil to. Again, that's a piece of uh, birch plywood. I think it's around an eighth of an inch uh, or so thick and some fine stock clips to secure the Litz wire and allow a quick, easy connection of the two leads uh, back to the receiver to attach as well. And a few more shots of the uh, antenna coil from uh, different positions. You see it uh, turned out well and I was uh, fortunate I had just enough room inside the uh, receiver to mount the uh, coil You'll see in a picture in just a moment that the back does not really protrude out past the cabinet. As I mentioned earlier, I removed a few turns off of the coil to get the desired inductance closer to 235. This is close enough at 233. Tornadoes and other powerful winds earlier swept through parts of the southern plains and the Midwest. At least one person was killed in a tornado in western Oklahoma. The nation's highest court is about to take out President Biden's student loan debt forgiveness scheme. The plan to wipe away up to twenty thousand to this nation, the gospel of Jesus Christ. The John Creators Network found Seria is facilmente transmissible. Pocas opciones de tratamiento antimicrobiano para el personal. As you guys just heard, after completing the IF and RF alignment, plus getting the new antenna coil in place, this receiver is playing uh, up to par now. Sounds great. A little more tweaking on the chassis than uh, followed by some cabinet repairs this spring. Thanks again for watching.